Welcome to the Watercolor Fanatic YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to share some tips on how I like to design watercolor landscapes. If you would like to see the finished painting shown here, then that is available on Patreon. And that is for my members only. So a link is in the description for that. Let's get started. All right, so our back lit, lit scene here. A landscape layout. So a low curb, so bringing it down in here. And then you know, we have this sort of stuff going on. Um, so the house, I wanted to pull up in here. Okay, so we have a big house uh, in that area. And just some nonsense back in here. And then we had a smaller house here. So a tall, medium, or a small. And then maybe another house over in there. Okay. Or something like that a couple of verticals so a tree uh, coming up another tree sort of connecting in here so I didn't want to put it here so I didn't want to put a tree there and then there right in the middle because then it would be sort of even you know I didn't want I wanted the trees to either be one or two but I needed them to be off like this so I didn't want to even them like that and that so then you again you would have equality so putting it uh, over in here kind of favored the verticals to the right and then that was sort of my design uh, then maybe a little crosswalk in here uh, tie in again a little figure some activities someone walking in and then you know some other little figures uh, back in here uh, so for the sky, uh, just a little bit of value. Uh, but let me back up a little bit. So if we look at the grid uh, on this, we've got kind of a small, uh, large, and then medium. And it's tough to say left to right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say we've got like you know the house in here. And then we've got another house in here. So sort of like all of this space is one, one, and then we got a little sliver. So you could say large, small, medium. And again, I didn't want to put those trees, you know, right there because that would be a disaster. Volu uh, volume wise or uh, values. Um, so I wanted to keep this tree, uh, this side of the building fairly light. And then of course the tree, the buildings themselves are backlit. So they were going to be fairly dark. And all of this, these, this figure, tree, uh, all of that sort of stuff is connected to, so to those darks. And then we run a little bit of light value across in here. I probably need to make that a smidge darker so it's not as light as the sky. And then um, the shadows. So the shadows from the trees, the building, um, sort of coming across the road like that. So the design uh, behind this um, was a lot to do with the shadows. So it sort of was like um the shadows kind of bring you in in a very abstract loose way of course we have the figure over here that'll sort of pull you in and we can sort of go up and then over um, to this house and then uh, back down but the, the shadows uh, really play an important role in getting us into the picture there so that's sort of the value structure, the idea behind uh, the painting. Uh, what attracted me to it were, you know, was the, the backlit scene and the shadows of the trees and stuff sort of sucking you into the painting. I just thought that was really attractive and that's what I wanted to do. Um, so uh, two, whenever things are in shadow, uh, we want to eliminate details. So that's why I didn't put a bunch of windows and awnings and a bunch of stuff you don't need on these houses. So really the only thing 
um, you can really distinguish our you know a few windows on this side of the house um, and you can see a couple of windows dropped in there but again it's it's done so loose that um, you, you really can't tell what it is and it's really abstract anyway but that's my thoughts behind the design and value structure